就就这个，很好的这个瓶子，很好，瓶子很好哎。We're doing in this room is we're bleaching pearls, and the reason they come through and shape them like this is to get the chemicals all around each of the individual pearls. It's about 40 degrees in here right now, and fluorescent lights help enhance the power of the bleach that whitens the pearls. So the room is very temperature controlled. We have fans coming through here, air conditioners on both sides. Always very careful about the temperature in this room. 时间短，这个咬的时间短。See the difference? Very low quality pearls, very high quality pearls on the other side. But they don't like to waste anything, so what they're doing is they're trying to bring out more of a white color into these gray pearls, so that even on the low end they'll still be able to sell them. 很好的，很好的啊，听讲很好。This is some of the higher quality pearls. You can see already through the glass, the luster is very good. This is the uh, same way they change the color of the pearls. For example, if there are some pearls that are extremely yellow, yellow is not a very profitable color. So what they'll do is they'll add a little bit of red dye into the bleach as well to bring out the pink coloration of the pearls. These are natural colored gold Nikoya pearls. Although they may look very beautiful, they're still trying to bring out a white color in the pearls because they sell for a much lower price when they're gold. Oh, see ya. Four to four point five millimeter Akoya pearls, some of the smallest pearls available. To give you an idea of comparison, well, this is actually a mixed batch here, but uh, the large pearl there is a seven millimeter pearl. Four and a half millimeter compared with a seven millimeter pearl is quite a visual difference. The expertly trained eyes of these young ladies are sorting the pearls for size, quality, and color. After the pearls have been sorted, they're then placed on temporary strands called hanks. These hanks are then sold. This is the top portion of the pearls that were just harvested in the last couple of months. There are about 10,000 pearl strands here. That comes out to plus or minus around 600,000 pearls. This is the top percentage of the harvest. All the pearls are perfectly round. They've got a very high luster, good shine, very clean surface. This actual farm specializes in the smaller pearls. So what we're looking at today are the smallest pearls ranging from about five millimeter up to eight millimeter. This basket here contains the five to five and a half millimeter pearls and the five and a half to six millimeter pearls. Then we go over to this basket which contains the six to six and a half millimeter pearls. This basket and several baskets off to my left contain the six and a half to seven millimeter pearls. And the baskets on this side are of the slightly larger pearls, the seven to seven and a half millimeter pearls, all the way up to the seven and a half to eight millimeter pearls the largest that the farm produces here. When I'm examining pearls, I'm looking at the luster, the shape, the color, and the surface characteristics of the pearl. Each strand must be individually examined to make sure all strands in a particular hank are of equivalent quality. Negotiating can be the most time-consuming part of this entire process. After choosing the strands that fit our quality criteria, negotiations start. <laughs> I 
In the past 10 years, I've traveled the world visiting pearl farms and negotiating face-to-face -face with pearl farmers. One thing I have learned along my way is that very few pearl farmers actually speak English. And understanding and being able to negotiate in the native language is extremely important. Negotiations can take up to three days for a single lot of Akoya pearls. The reason negotiations can be so time-consuming for a single size of pearl is because we buy thousands of that particular size, and a difference of only 2 to 3 percent can mean a difference of five to $10,000. Because the pearls we are examining today are the highest quality pearls that this particular farm produces, the pearl farmer is negotiating for the highest possible price for his merchandise. I, on the other hand, am more concerned with providing the best possible value to my customers, so I am negotiating for the lowest possible price. I'm on a boat from Suwen headed back to Haiko, and from there it's a flight back to Hong Kong and then on to the United States for the last leg of the trip. Overall, this trip has been quite a success. I've been able to purchase about 150 kilos of great, high-quality Akoya pearls. Not as many pearls as I had hoped, but overall, definitely a success. These are the pearls that we just brought back from Asia from the last harvest. Yeah, the luster is, is great on them. Those are all double A plus quality. You can see the range of overtones in rosé, silver, and ivory. There we go. You can take a look at them.